Hello, I'm back, and we're on our way to our last class. And then after that, we go to Juice Kegger with our future Mrs. Merchant. Um. Man, what the hell? Okay, hang on. Okay, now... God dang it! Go to class! Go to class! Or not? Okay, go home. Why is it saying that I'm doing bad at school? Fine, we're gonna go home and we're gonna study. Just to counteract the fact that you're being a jackass. You. Stop. Study hard. And then study hard again. Uh, I'm doing that thing where I get like all super ultra focused and then I don't pay attention to anything else. Did I miss the party? Er, uh, no I didn't. Attend party. Come on, let's go. Faster, bro! Don't get hit by lightning! Buy a juice keg. Not right now. Why does it always go on the back door, man? Do a keg stand! With Kana! Because why the hell not? Whee! Are you just gonna stand out there in the rain, man? Okay, just get, come inside, for God's sake, man. Bathroom. 
to eat something. Couple they are. <laughs> what well, what was with her? Um. Oh man. I just did. All right, kiss her again. No, 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 no. Lady with the funky face. No. No. See, the other one I could handle. But no. We're not listening to kids' music. No, no, no. We're going to go over here. We're going to go over, over here. And we're going we're gonna to have a romantic moment. And it's not going to be interrupted by kids' music. Dear God. This is the most grating music. Pray. Is she gonna walk away? No. Okay, good. Amorous hug. Don't steal something. Are you a klepto? I forgot. I keep forgetting if he's a freaking klepto or not. bad at actually commentating this freaking game. I'm so sorry. Like, it's been such a long time. Like, I keep playing like Island Paradise without commentating, and now when I get back into the game and I actually have to start talking, I'm like, uh, you know. I'm just like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, uh, you don't have time to go to the bathroom. Come on. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We're trying to have a moment here? Put your clothes on! No, yeah, now's the perfect time to get stuck on the stairs when you don't have clothes on. Why is your skin, like, red? Oh, uh, no? Okay. Apologies, I'll go home now. Bye. <laughs> Keep doing that. Um... <sighs> What do you guys think? Should I turn off the rain? Because honestly, rain is starting to piss me off more than it's starting to, like, more than I feel like it, um, it adds to the game. Because, <laughs> yeah, like, it, it sucks without weather sometimes, but then, like, I don't know, like, there should be a way to set how long it is between, like, Like, how long it can be in between, like, weather changes. Like, if it has to be, like, a certain length of time. Like, it, like a certain weather thing can only last between these amounts of time. And they can only happen a couple of times. <sighs> like, a friggin' week. Because, man, I am so sick of... God damn it, man. I'm so sick of, um... Just... Everything. I'm, I'm, sick of, I'm sick of it raining all the time. It's just... It's rain all the time. I wonder what color your ghost is if you're killed in one of these beds. 
If anyone knows, let me know. I want to know what color the ghost is if you die from one of these. Like, I suffocated... Or no, 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 it's not suffocated. Um, I dehydrated my, um, my mermaid, and his ghost was yellow. And I thought that was weird. Um... But yeah, there's there's a whole bunch of cool ways to die in The Sims, and I I always wonder what like for most of them I know what the I know what the ghosts are, but because like they're no different than any other because like um I mean like if you get struck by lightning, obviously it's going to be an electrocution death, I suppose, but um. Let's go to class. But like, I mean, in certain things, like if you if you die from heat, it's it's you're gonna catch on fire, right? So it's gonna be a fire death. But I don't know certain things. I just can't. I don't know what what color your ghost is gonna be because I don't know what it would classify as and or if you just get a different color ghost, like, if you, if you die in one of these things, like, what color ghost would you have? I wonder if it shows on Supernatural, like, if you can create a ghost that, that died from, uh, from bed. That'd be the lamest way to die, though. It's like, yeah, I have a ghost. You're hanging around your afterlife, and go up to another ghost, and the ghost's like, Dude, what happened to you? And you're like, eh, I died in a bed. Or I was crushed by a vending machine. Like, how embarrassing would that be? Vending machine death. Do they ever like the Chunky Nougat surprise? Or is it just, like, they always hate it no matter what? Because I wouldn't be surprised if they always hate it no matter what. Because it doesn't look like it's very good. And I'll see if you use the words chunky and surprise in the same sentence. I'm surprised anyone would ever buy it. <laughs> he has a fish in his um, inventory. I'm kind of disappointed that he can't eat it. play kicky bag for a little bit so and get your fun up and you can work hard because you failed like two out of three of your, your finals last time and that's not that's not cool I really want you to get your degree I'm really mad at you even though technically it's my fault, I was he wasn't I wasn't making him work hard enough. But still. Like, come on, dude. What's his professor? Professor seems like a good guy. You can give us a nice grade, right? Right. sleep for a little bit and then work hard <laughs> I don't like you Millie Grub hooray I'm a good example <laughs> I think he did that while I was sleeping <laughs> I'm a good example I fell asleep in class I'm such a good example Um, I guess go to my next class. No, 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 what are you doing? Don't go to dormitory, go to class. You freak. And then when you get home, you can have some food. Like some actual food, and then you can have a shower, and use the bathroom, and go to bed again.
Adam can go screw himself. I do believe this episode has lasted longer than it should. I'll probably end it soonish after after he gets home, I guess. Ah, what happened? The ice cream guy just kind of left. You need to send a text to anyone. Where the, uh, the where the frick is the ice cream guy going anyway? He keeps passing by and he's like, yo guys, and then doesn't stop. You know what I wish? I wish the uh, food truck would come in other cities other than uh, Bridgeport. I like the food truck. It's kind of nice like having an apartment and then having the food truck like stop right outside the apartment. So you just like, you know, go grab some food before you go to work and it was it was quite nice. Was a fan of the food truck. And really before I think before like Supernatural Late Night was my favorite expansion. Like my just my, my straight up like hands down favorite was Late Night. Just because of um even like actually before I don't know what what came first? Was it seasons or supernatural? Before seasons, I think. Because I think I liked seasons a little bit better. But like before seasons, I think late night was my hands down favorite. And then it was um and then like after that was uh was uh, World Adventures cuz World Adventures it, it it added a lot of content that I didn't even realize. So, I mean I kind of lose perspective on how good the other um, the other expansions are, because the other one, the, the ones coming out now are really cool. I mean, the, um, flipping Into the Future one looks super awesome. I mean, like, even though we didn't really get that much of a, a view on it at the live stream, I mean, it seems like it's going to be pretty cool, but, like, I don't know. I feel like it's going to be one, like, um, what... Island Paradise ended up being for me is like it stopped it, it stopped even feeling like a Sims game for a little while and just started being like make a monopoly of all of these um of all these resorts because these these resorts are huge money makers like you could live off of running a resort and it, it just it's super you know you get super rich super fast and um so uh. God damn this rain! For fuck's sake! Like, does it do, do anything else? You know what? No more rain. I'm sorry. I'm I'm done with it. <laughs> I'm sick of the rain. Like, it just bothers me. Where is it? Seasons. Uh, no more rain. No more hail. Snow and fog can happen, but no more no more of any of that else. Um, that can still happen. Also, no more. Yeah, set the single lunar phase. I think I did that a while ago, just to avoid um uh full moon. So apply changes. Anyway, um, but like I ended up, uh, you know, ah, uh, paradise just stopped feeling like a Sims game. It started feeling like you know, resort tycoon. Um. <laughs> Which, God, that was a ages ago when it was like, you know, like Sim City and like Sim. I think I had Sim Safari and I had Sim Town and things like that. But I also had like Roller Coaster Tycoon and and there was like Theme Park Tycoon and and stuff like that. And man, like like the Sims, like Maxis and uh, and whatever, like the Tycoon, um. Uh, like, what, whoever made, like, all the Tycoon games were, like, the biggest 
um, competitors, and and I just love them both, and I I I wish they kept doing that. <laughs> um, like I have Zoo Tycoon still as well. Like Zoo Tycoon is super cool. I still have it, and I haven't played it in a while, but man, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I can never play it right because I always ran out of money. Like really fast. Same with the uh, same with Roller Coaster Tycoon. I, I I was really bad at money management. I'm still really bad at money management in and out of games. Uh. <laughs> but man, like uh, I I, re I wish those two were still competitors just so we could keep getting like these really cool simulation games. Like I kind of wish I kind of wish The Sims had a competitor, like a legitimate competitor. In the gaming market, like something like The Sims, but something just a little bit different, just to just to put a a new spin on it, or or just you know maybe something more serious, or or like they had like a, a like instead of like The Sims Medieval, which is a good enough game, like have a medieval version of The Sims where you can do everything you can do in The Sims but in a medieval setting. You know, that kind of stuff. Like, just... I want more variety. I want more variety in The Sims. I think that's what I decided. I want... You know, different... Different... Um, different times, you know? Like, you know, the, the 20s. Or the... You know, set so, something in the future. Like, <laughs> I know, like, Into the Future is going to be... Is going to be coming out. But, like, an actual whole Sims game in the future where maybe you can, like, create... Um, things that, that do stuff like you can make robots but like you can also program the robots like yourself um, like you can type in code into the thing I think that would be really cool and then like so people can like share their codes for their robots you know if they if they want their robot to do something else um, they can just like share the code I don't know I have so many cool ideas but I have no talent with computers with computers so I mean like maybe I don't know I'm still trying to decide what I want to do with my college degree so maybe I should start programming because <laughs> I think that would be really fun I mean obviously if I if I put out a I put out a video game where where it's pretty much just like the sims but in different settings I'm probably going to get a nice large lawsuit from uh from uh, EA Maxis, but, uh, boy, that'd be a whole lot of fun. Anyway, um, I have the urge to kill more dragons, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to leave you guys and play some Skyrim. Um, but, yeah, guys, I, I, I miss recording <laughs> as much as I, as I, as much as I used to, and I wish I were more entertaining sometimes, because, uh, I, I just feel boring. Because I, I, you know, I just play my game, and, uh, I mean, I wish I had, I wish I could play more games, and then record more games, and, like, have more storage space to record. Um, and one day I might, because I want to record, you know, like, buy a new game, and then, like, record me playing it. Um, I know Cube World is big right now, and it's hilarious, because I've started to play, and, uh, my computer cannot handle it. Like, the game is called freaking Cube World, and my computer can't handle it. Cubes. Everything is made of blocks. And my computer can't handle it. <laughs> I need a new computer. Like, even after all of the optimization, which is actually... When, when I bought Cube World, and then I started playing it, and it wouldn't play well. Like, that's what... <laughs> that's what inspired me to start optimizing my computer. It still doesn't play well, but it plays a lot better than it did. Um, like, I can see things before they kill me. <laughs> and then they kill me. But, um, anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see you guys next time. Um, maybe I'll start playing some other games. And I know I've sort of been pigeonholed into, uh, into The Sims because, uh, you know, obviously this is the only series I've pretty much done consistently um 
throughout the channel, but, uh, I'll see you guys later, um, and, uh, yeah, I only want to start playing new games, though, because, like, I, I, I know it's fun to play games that I've played before, but I, I'd like to, um, discover how to play a game while recording, not just showing people how lead I am at you know, Might and Magic or whatever. Which, Might and Magic doesn't record over Fraps, which is a little unfortunate, because I really like Might and Magic, and I would like to share it with you guys, but, uh... Might and Magic is a little before Fraps' time, unfortunately. Anyway, I've ended this episode about six times and haven't actually ended it, so this episode's probably going to be like 14,000 minutes long. Which is an exaggeration, of course. But I'm actually going to end it now. Bye. This is me pressing the bye button. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.